Shalom and welcome to a brand new day. We've been looking at the series on having hope even in the midst of struggles, even in the midst of trials. Yesterday, we did look at an encouraging truth of um, having a living hope in Jesus. Today, Peter brings us to a new truth which says that we have a priceless inheritance. 1 Peter 1 verses 3 to 4 reads, Blessed be the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you. So Peter in this letter praises and honors God for the mercy he has shown not only in bringing us to this living hope like we looked at yesterday but also reserving for us a priceless inheritance. So let's picture a scenario. Suppose you were a very poor person and had nothing to call your own and someone just walked up to you and uh, shared that you're actually going to be um, the owner of an inheritance um, when you probably reach a particular age. How do you think you would respond? Would you, would you be gloomy or helpless? Or would you be excited and with that anticipatory hope? This is exactly what Peter speaks of that when we know that there is an inheritance waiting for us, all the temporary hardships and inconveniences becomes far less weighty or it becomes less cumbersome. Peter encourages us and, and asks us to focus our eyes on this priceless inheritance. And we read in this verse that this inheritance has four qualities. He describes it with four qualities. He says, first, our inheritance is incorruptible, which means to say that it won't be damaged and it will never perish. And that our inheritance as a child of God can never be threatened by anything that happens on this earth, be it disease, be it plague, be it hardships, be it sickness, it will never be broken into. So. The first quality is incorruptible. The second quality of our inheritance is that it will not rot. It says it will never spoil. What we have in Christ is free from anything that will deform, that will decay or that will degrade. Everything on earth is imperfect, but we know that the inheritance that we are going to have is going to be perfect because Christ is truly perfect. The third quality he calls out for our inheritance is that it won't wear out. It says that it will never fade. What you and I have in Christ endures forever. It's an enduring possession. And the last quality he brings about is that it is reserved for us. It's kept for us. It is in store for us. So what we have in Christ is being kept in heaven for us. Your crown of glory has a name on it and we as children will receive it one day. So when we understand and look forward to that glory that awaits us, we are better able to endure whatever happens today. So we can give God praise and glory to know that His guarantee of an inheritance will be received by us as He has promised. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we look forward to that inheritance, that priceless inheritance you have in store for us. Thank you that you, by your grace and your mercy and your love for us, have reserved that for each one of us who are called by your name. We look forward to being with you in that inheritance as we pass by through this time and through this temporary world. We thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.